Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on uh, volcanoes. We're going to look at ways that you can predict uh, volcanic activity. Okay, so we're going to look at ways to uh, predict volcanic eruptions. Now, although like scientists know exactly where the volcanic eruptions are going to occur, they can't predict exactly when the volcanic eruption is actually going to take place. Um, and there are, scientists are constantly trying to predict uh, these eruptions so that they can give the authorities uh, lots of notifications so they can then evacuate the surrounding areas and prevent loss of life and damage to as much uh, the infrastructure as possible. So it's one of the things, predicting volcanic activities is one of the things that's very important um, to developed and developing countries and it's something that is constantly being improved um, mainly through the use of technology. Okay, so the first way to predict um, volcanic eruptions is basically looking at the shape of the cone. So looking at, observing the shape of the cone, the volcano cone. And what I mean by that is, uh, before any uh, volcanic eruption, magma usually pushes into the area beneath the, the volcano. And as it rises into the cone, it pushes outwards, creating like a bulge on the on the edge of the volcano, on the side of the volcano. So scientists will 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 try to observe and look and see if there's any bulges being made on the volcanoes. If there is um, any sort of slight bulge or change in the slope of the, the side of the volcano, well this can indicate then that an eruption is likely to happen in the near future. The next way, the second way is by looking at like if there's any earthquakes. So small earthquakes. So if there's lots of small like earthquakes, then scientists will observe these. And if it's close to like a, a volcano, then this may indicate that there may possibly be a volcanic explosion. Because before volcanoes erupt, it, you can uh, very often get small earthquakes. The third way is by looking at um, gases. And basically, like, if there's any gases, like, escaping out through the, the crater of the volcano, this may indicate that the volcano is about to erupt. Um, because what will happen is magma, as it's um, as the volcano is about to erupt, the magma will move towards, uh, like, through the vents and towards the, the, the crater. And this will uh, cause lots of gases, um, like sulfur dioxide and steam, to... To, to push its way out through the volcano and if more gas is, is coming uh, from the crater of the, of the volcano this is a big indication that a volcanic eruption may occur. The fourth way we can uh, scientists predict volcanic eruptions is by observing the heat um, of the surrounding areas of the volcano so what will happen is if a volcano is about to erupt the magma will obviously rise uh, towards uh, the surface and because the magma is very extremely hot this will increase temperatures um, surrounding the rock and it may cause like lots of snow to melt or ice uh, on, the on the volcano to, to melt and this could trigger like uh, floods or lahars um, and this may be a big indication that um, magma is coming towards the, the top of the crater and it's coming towards the top of the volcano and it is the volcano is about to erupt. So heat is a big uh, indication that a volcano may erupt. The next one, the fifth one I'm going to put down is um, by using technology. Okay, And using technology kind of uh, links in to everything that we've said already. And I'll explain um, what I mean by this now when I write this. So increase technology. So using technology. So what I mean by that is um, scientists and, and are using lots of technology now to try to predict um, the earthquakes and one of the things we said like was like predicting like having a look to see if there's any small air earthquakes and what they'll do is they'll use the seismometers to record any earthquakes and if the if there's any sort of like changes um, and there's any sort of uh, seismic activity um, well then this will be triggered um, and monitored by the, the seismometers and any sudden increase in the number of strengths of these tremors can indicate that eruption may may occur so this is something that they will they will take uh, play like like close attention to. They'll also use like lasers and tilt meters to detect 
any changes in the magma's dome. So if if the if its shape if the shape is changing or if any if, if um if the heat is changing, they'll use um lasers and tilt mirrors to detect uh these changes. And the last one is by using like uh chemical sensors and the chemical uh sensors will detect any gases or increased um, uh, gases near the crater that are like escaping. And an example of one of these that we said before was uh, sulfur dioxide. The sixth way um, is by looking at the history. So scientists will look at the history of eruptions. And the history, the scientists are now like, much better at being able to interpret uh, the past like, records of eruptions. And they use this to predict the likelihood of a new uh, eruption. Uh, they study the history of the volcanoes in detail um, and they try to then predict when they think the next eruption may occur based on the historical uh, events. And one of the, the reasons why they started to really study the, the history of uh, eruptions was really only after Mount St. Helens in 1980. This was after that there was the, the first real time that uh, studying the history of volcan volcanoes um, kind of came to fruition okay guys that's it for today's tutorial and um, looking at how scientists uh, predict volcanic activity um i hope you enjoyed the lesson if you do can you leave me some feedback you can do so on their instagram facebook or twitter page just even just let me know how what you thought of the video and uh, if you learned something from it i love hearing uh i love hearing like uh how the videos that like help you so please do let me know um and also you can you can contact us on the through the our website examvision.ie and you can find all the, the videos for geography, maths and business for junior and even certificate on the website examvision.ie. Thanks guys.